What is up guys, today we're going to be giving our character some rolling functionality. So let's do it. First, I need you to hop into the description of this video and download the roll animation I've got for you. Or feel free to use your own. When it's downloaded, import it into Unreal, selecting the mannequin skeleton as the skeleton. Now, double click on the animation. We're going to be using root motion to drive our movement. So type in root into the details, enable root motion, and change the root motion root lock if your character has moved into a funny angle. Now hop into the viewport, right click the animation and convert it over to a montage. Then open up your animation blueprint and head into the anim graph. Bring in a default slot and connect it in between your state machine and output pose. This default slot allows our montage to be blended in with our animation blueprint. Now open up your character blueprint. Bring in a key press you want to roll with, I'm going to use the E key. Bring in a play montage node and select your roll montage. Then control drag in your mesh and plug it into the skeletal mesh component. And that is everything you need to know to get your character to roll. Now let's add some extra nodes to make it even cooler. Control drag in your character movement. Pull off it and bring in a is falling node. Hold B and click to bring in a branch and connect these up. Off the false, bring in a do once node. Then pull off your character movement again and get the velocity. Pull off the velocity and bring in a vector length. This converts our velocity over to a float which is equal to our speed. Pull off our vector length and bring in a greater than node. Put 300 inside this. Hold B and click again and connect these nodes together. Now. On our montage, pull off our play rate and promote it to a variable. Call this roll speed. Alt drag in our roll speed variable and set this to 1.5. With the node selected, press Ctrl W to duplicate it and put in 1.2 for this one. Connect the branches true into the set roll speed 1.5 and the false into the other one. Plug both of these into the montage then off our montage on completed, plug this into the do once reset. So when we're calling our roll, we're checking if we're in the air. Obviously we don't want to roll if we're mid jump. Then we're making sure we can't call these nodes again if we're already rolling. Then we're checking our character's movement speed. And if our speed is greater than 300, we're playing our roll animation at 1.5 times speed. And if our speed is less than 300, we're playing our roll animation at 1.2 speed. For anyone wondering, I use the speed 300 because it is half of the default max walk speed. You can find this by going into character movement and typing walk speed into the details. So my friends, that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Keep it real guys. I'll see you all next time.